Hello, everybody, and welcome to, um, well, I would say part of my new Friday series, but I'll explain that. Um, so, what's going to be happening is, uh, I'm going to be doing, uh, mod pack spotlights every Friday, pretty much unless I happen to manage to record a couple episodes of DC Universe with my sister, in which case those will be going up Friday. So, um, let's see here. The first mod pack we are taking a look at, um, well, these are all going to be mod packs for either Feed the Beast or the Technic Launcher. Um, the Technic pack is kind of fallen behind the times, I suppose you could say, but the Technic Launcher has made m making mod packs so much easier. So, yeah, I'm going to be showcasing these mod packs, you know, every Friday, pretty much. So, the first one we're taking a look at is called the uh, Captain Sparkles Survival Pack, I think. Anyways, um, if you have seen Captain Sparkles do his uh, modded Minecraft survival series, which he actually just finished. We'll be starting. He'll be starting a third season this Saturday, so you should go check out his channel if you haven't. So this is basically a recreation of his mod pack. Well, all the mods he uses, he doesn't use a mod pack, and um, excuse me, there is also a recreation of his treehouse. Now, in my opinion, it's not the best recreation of it, but still, it's not half bad, honestly. So, yep. his shard. Where's his shard? He dropped jungle shards there. Okay, um, let's see here. Oh, yes. Also, I am using the Sfax, um, Pure BD Craft mod pack. The 120 by 120 resolution. I'll put a link to that in the description. I will also put a link to the mod pack and the Technic Launcher download locations in the description. Um, so, the one thing they did not do very well with the uh, tree there is it is not very safe to be there. <laughs> well, we got monsters spawning here. Um, so, I chose to move out into the nearby desert and set up my own little base. Um, so yeah, this was not at all part of his survival pack thingy. Um, okay. So let's see, this mod pack has Divine RPG in case you couldn't tell that. It has the uh, Tale of Kingdoms. Um, it also has a Pet Bat mod. It has um, the minimap. It has the damage indicators. Um, it also has a special mod called Jerry's mod, I think, and that's actually the weapon and armor set that I'm using. Um, yeah, I have Jerry tools and Jerry armor. Um, if you don't have any clue why that is important, just go wa watch Captain Sparkle's survival. 
you'll understand after that. So, a little tip for anyone who plays Tale of Kingdoms. Sandstone is like the easiest way to get money with that mod because you can take it to the guild and I mean sandstone is pretty easy to come by even if you don't have these creatures that just drops tons and tons of sandstone um, also be showing you how to make the various weapons oh right not enough items is also a part of this mod pack have a munch there um... yeah uh, that's uh... the main mod in this pack is the divine rpg which i honestly like hate so much I do not like Divine RPG. I do not like that mod at all. Oh well. Oh, one thing I have forgotten to do, um, is I'll be back in a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, that was the command I was trying to use. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, sandstone is a excellent source of money in Tale of Kingdoms. I just made a ridiculous amount of money for a bunch of stuff that I'm never going to use. So, yeah, it, like I said, it's quite a useful thing. Um, so, currently I only have a uh, portal to one of the Divine RPG dimensions open. Um, I believe it's Dravite. There's a whole bunch of different dimensions in Divine RPG. I've never managed to get very far in Divine RPG because I was always dying and losing all my stuff. Very annoying, you know. However, with the uh, keep inventory, you will keep everything that you have in your inventory and all your levels of XP whenever you die. So, I mean... Some people would say that's cheating, but personally, I'm like, you obviously have not tried to fight some of these guys. They are just ridiculously tough. So, yeah, this is Dravite. Um, I guess it is sort of like the Aether. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. You know, you've got a ton of floating idol islands. So, what you're trying to get is, um, Azerite souls, which you get by killing the Azerite monsters. See, you get an Azerite soul, and you turn that into fragments. Nine fragments, I believe, will make a Azerite block, which is what you need to travel to Azerite. Ow. Um, just eat some of that. So, let's see here. The sword you make using a slime stick, which is just a blaze rod and two slime balls. And you also need two jerry gems. Now, for each gem, you need a block of diamond and eight slime gems. For a slime gem, you need another block of diamond for each slime gem and a slime shard which is more diamonds plus gold and slime balls and yeah you use jerry gems to make the armor too. no i did not collect the resources for all this this is a spotlight um, 
So yeah, um, this stuff is really expensive to make in the mod pack, but the sword has infinite durability, it does like, well if you can see somewhere around eight, almost 80 damage per hit, and that's without crits. So you do some pretty serious damage with this puppy. I'm actually not sure how good the Jerry armor is, but I assure you, um, it takes a lot more punishment than even diamond armor. Yeah, I know, you're all thinking, well, it better with a cost like that. So, that's a Dravite soul, but since I already have the Dravite portal, I don't really need the fragments. Um, these Dravite souls can be used for other things besides building portals, but mainly you'll be collecting uh, various souls in the dimensions for um, building portals. Ow. Yeah, I'm not too sure how protective this armor actually is. Oops, sorry about that. Um, kill you for your soul. No, 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 no. Come on. Really? Yeah, that, that was my spare stuff. That was before I discovered the keep inventory command. It's quite useful, actually. Sound, these things sound like they have indigestion, seriously. Okay, so we are going back through the portal. So sometimes these portals kind of behave really oddly, and it'll take a while for it to decide to teleport you back home. Um, also, you might notice I suddenly don't seem to have any levels. That is because... Um, I need to kill something, and then once I gain the XP from that, it'll restore all my levels. I think it's just a glitch, so don't worry about it if you come out of a dimension after killing a ton of stuff, and you're like, where is all my levels gone? Just find an animal or a mob to kill, and you'll, it'll show up, trust me. Um, let's see, I think I can give you a tour of the tree real quick. It's not really all that big. I hate those things, those dramics. They like hit for a ridiculous amount of damage. Um, so yeah, if you play Divine RPG, Never ever make your starting base near the jungle. You will die. A lot. So as you can hear, we have Dramex in the tree. Which is why I do not really inhabit this place right now. Because... Yeah. So... It's got most of the chests labeled properly. Um, there was actually a room he had made here, and then he had like a bunch of teleporting command blocks. So that's like some of the only problems I've had with whoever recreated this tree is they didn't really do a 100% faithful recreation. Excuse me. Yeah, this w is supposed to be the mob spawner. Um, if I remember correctly, there was like a nether portal here. Ow. I hate those things so much. Um, let's see. Uh, somewhere around here. Yep, yeah, see, I got my levels back. 
Um, yeah, the uh, Nether portal was not here, if I'm remembering my series correctly. They did get this mostly right, at least, so points for that. Um, and of course this is the enchanting area. And yeah, you do have to be careful going up this part. Especially if you happen to run into one of those... I, I'm going to call them jungle stegosauruses. Because honestly, that's what they'll always be. Stupid jungle stegosaurus. So yeah, here's Jerry's memorial. Again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch Captain Sparkle's uh, modded survival series. Um, season 2 is actually the modded survival. Season 1 was just him doing vanilla Minecraft survival. Both are really good. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, you should watch both of them. So, yeah. I believe that's pretty much everything. Um, so, let's see here. Yeah. Um, trying to think here. So, let's see here. We, I will, like I said, put links in the description to the texture pack, the mod pack, and the Technic launcher. Um, let's see here. Also, if you guys want to see me go more in depth on a certain mod pack I do, just let me know and I will be sure to do that. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and as always, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments, and I will see you guys Monday for the Monday show thing. Bye!